She doesn't want to go back to Geraldine, she claims. Anyhow, so what we're doing is we're blood testing these heifers to see if they've been exposed to a PI. So BVD, right? Yeah. So if they've been exposed to a PI, they're going to have antibodies. It's a very, and PIs are really good at what they do. So if we blood test a handful of these girls, this population, if they're all antibody negative, then we know that there's no PI in them. So it's a real simple method. So if they got no exposure, then what could we do for them to help them if they need it? Yeah, we can vaccinate them. What if they're all immune? What does that tell us? Yeah, they've met a PI at some stage, yeah. So does it make sense to vaccinate them then? Yeah, that's it. So we're going to tail bleed them. God thankfully put uh, little taps on their tails. So I'm going to do one real quick, yep. and then you're going to do one. So. so come on over and we'll show you kind of the methodology. It's pretty easy. Just jack their tail up. Right on the midline. Up in. Pump the tube on. And, 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 oh, I made it look like it was easy, but it's not. <laughs> there we go. Fills with blood. So once you're in, so this is a vacuum cleaner, guys. They, these things suck. So it's got a vacuum in it. And as soon as you pop that, see that double-ended needle there? As soon as that needle pops into the tube, it'll suck blood into it. But if that's out of their tail, it'll suck air into the tube and then it won't suck anymore. So what you do is you get, you pop through, and then once you're in there, you can redirect until you get a flash of blood. And what I do in order to keep it from coming out, my hands are a bit dirty, but you're gonna get dirty anyway. I'll show you if my trick. So you get a needle there with your finger. Here's the needle. Instead of hanging like this and trying to poke it into the tail, because if the animal moves, it's gonna pop and blow the vacuum. Because I put my finger up against up against the side of the needle, mm -hmm. and as I pop it in, like if we're going into the tail, my hand, my this hand is up against the tail. So that hand's jacking it. And as you, as you move up and down, as, as the animal moves around, you're putting pressure on, on the tail, holding the tube, so as the animal jumps around, you're not popping out and blowing the vacuum. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's freaking sick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's your turn. So what's this one? number? S44. So S44 is yours? Always right, always hold the cap in your left hand, unless you're right-handed, but always do it consistently, so that at the lab, they know that it's not hieroglyphics. Yeah. Like 69, 96, whatever. So we'll get you another, uh, another hub. There's a fresh one for you. Um, what I do when I'm going in is I'll often, you can get butt over yourself that way. You can carry it any way you want. Check the tail, tap off in the middle, pop it on, redirect to get blood, pop it off. Your needle back on. These also make it easy to unscrew it. There you go, my friend. You're going to be awesome at it. You can do it! on midline you can probably go a little bit further towards the end of the tail rather than right there yeah. if you're if you're unhappy with your position just undo the bottle pull the bottle off yeah. then pull the needle right back out again you have to the vacuum and then redirect yourself so where i would go on that watch your feet you've got that center that's the way because i'd probably go about right there yeah. and you can feel if you feel with your fingers you can feel the two there's two processes on the on those yeah. tail bones so you're going right in the middle of those yeah. and it, that's where the vein and the artery are always sitting if you hit an artery, it's going to fill real fast. If you hit a vein, it's going to it's going to fill real slowly. So just pop in, and then pop your pop your tube on. There you go. And then just redirect. You know, until there you go. Beautiful. Legends. You you you're, you must be a vampire or something. In a woodpile. Transyl Geraldton. What do they say? That's all. That's, that's it. Sweet. All right. And then just pull it out. How cool is that? You want to do one? <laughs> You're right. High five. It's nice. When I know it's windy, everyone's going to complain about the wind. Come and learn and ask questions. You got to introduce yourself. I'm Zara. Come on in. So, you want to show her how to load the, the needle on? Sure. The double ended needle? See why they're called double ended? She said 42. Cesar? Oh, wow. So. Pokey at both ends. Double-ended needle, you take the white cap off. Ah. Don't do it. Yeah. So you take the white cap off, like that. 
So you twist it, you take the white cap off, and then you twist the pink bit into the into the into the back container. And then you've got a tube, a blood tube. Yep. And that goes into the, sorry. And that goes into the container. Yeah, yeah. So this has got a vacuum seal on it, which means that um, if you puncture it, it'll suck in whatever you've got coming through the needle. Yeah. So if I puncture it now, it'll suck in air, and then we can't use it for blood. That would suck. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're going to. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I'm used to being videoed, hey. Um, so we're going to. It's stressful. It's very stressful. So we're going to hold it close to it, um, just so we're ready when we get it into the right spot. We're going to lift the tail, find the two processes, know where we're going to go, remove the lid of the syringe. Pop it in, pop the back container on. Oh, and then the second end of the needle punctures the container. Yeah. Nice. It. Legend. Spot on. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then we're, you want to try it? And then we're going to look for antibodies to a particular viral disease of cattle in that blood sample. So if, if there's antibodies there, then they've had the disease, which means they've been around a carrier, which is called a PI, a persistently infected animal. And then we go, ooh, right, shucks. So then we'll go and we'd individually ear notch all the heifers and we'd get rid of any PIs. But we know that you guys have been running a tight ship here. They're gonna be antibody negative, but we're just making sure it's gonna be red. So it's a it's a surveillance tool. It's kind of like a, like a fire alarm, like a smoke detector in your house. All right, that's good. Let's catch some smoke. I've gotta get like a, a dead cat or something for these because the, the, the wind just drives people bonkers. I get fully abused. So sorry, it's an iPhone, guys. And, but if we can figure out, come, come have a look. Yeah, yeah. There goes Zara. Feel that? Can you see that? Little processes there. Okay. Yeah. Dynamite. Here we go. We got the tail cam going. Pop. And keep your finger up against the needle. Like yeah. there you go. See what I mean? Oh, we're pushing hard against the tail with your with your needle. That's why. Hey, whoa, whoa, yeah. see, see, that was awesome. See how she jumped? And if you'd have been just holding on to the tube like people often traditionally do, it would have popped out and mm -hmm. it would have blown the vacuum. So, good technique. Nice. All good. All smiles. <laughs> well played. What do you reckon, Zara? Pretty rad? Super rad. <laughs>